there, I'm Tiffany Ricks at Hackware. Hackware is an AI-based security awareness and training platform. Our product mines the internet for phishing attacks to help you understand what they are and how to avoid them. In this video, I'm going to share the top eight phishing attacks from April. We're going to recap them week by week. You're going to see threats where bad actors are impersonating secure messaging systems, the IRS, and so much more. So I want you to watch the video, enjoy, and stay vigilant. This week, we have identified that threat actors are impersonating the IRS. And what they're saying is, they're going to adjust the tax refund and give an additional amount be, because they reevaluated the calculation. And what they want the user to do is they want the user to claim that refund now. They want that user to go, once they hit that claim the, the refund now button, it's going to display a fake page here. This fake page is asking for sensitive information. It looks realistic. Um, it's asking for their social security number and driver's license number. And this, if the user f submits this information, they are going to be in a world of hurt from identity um, scams to putting your organization at risk as well. And they take additional steps to make it seem realistic because they're saying, you know, this was sent from a notification only address. So that is one of the phishing attacks that we've identified that could expose your organization to a breach. Now, phishing news. Um, so this week we've identified that bad actors are impersonating, you know, as if they have received a denial of service attack, a DDoS attack from your IP address. And so they're sending this email to you, letting you know that they have identified your IP address involved in a denial of service attack, and they want you to respond. From there, the, the communication will continue, which they will uh, elevate the discussion to try to get, you know, more um, identifiable information to um, um, cause further harm. <music> The next phishing attack, we see here that threat actors are impersonating um, local governments. And this is a scam where it's they're trying to get the user to download the attachment, save it, and open it. The um, threat actors have put malicious software inside of that attachment, that message.html file. For my, for our MSP and IT professionals, we recommend um, blocking. Um, we know that you're doing it already, but we want to make sure that we're doing our part in recommending blocking attachments or quarantining attachments that come in with the .html um, extension. And again, threat actors are really trying to up their game to make the message seem realistic. They're saying this is an encrypted message from the OneDrive messaging system. But a dead giveaway is this domain. This is not from the Canyon City, Colorado um, Authority. It's from yahoo.com. But if your users are in a rush, they will miss that. And our product, Hackware, the Phishing Pro product, reuses these phishing attacks. So you will see content that is referring to an encrypted message and having a attachment that has a .html email. Now bad actors are impersonating employee handbooks and in compliance requirements to get the 
employee to sign off, they are having the employee to put in their organization's email and the organization um, password. So whatever login that you're using into your company's assets, they are trying to get that and get you to sign into the site. The next phishing attack that we've identified, this one is um, one that is pretty um, borderline spam, but it is working. So um, you're getting this email from an individual stating that they saw and reviewed your, your website and they see that you have their images on their site and you are violating the copyrights of that image. And so they want you to, um, they want to show you that they have the same image and it is a image that they own and they want you to click on this link here. That link is going to uh, expose you to a malware attack. And so uh, make your users aware of this type of phishing attack that's going around where bad actors are, um, you know, trolling business websites or just personal websites saying that they have the, an image, you have an image that is theirs when um, they're trying to get you to uh, click on a link. The next cyber attack, bad actors are impersonating WordPress where they are saying that it, the use, sending a message to the user, letting them know that their login has been used in a different part of the country. They want the user to, to log in to verify if this is a valid login or not. They're trying to steal those credentials. And then finally, it's another credential stealing phishing attack. We've seen bad actors impersonate other brands like um, Netflix and Disney Plus, as well as brands like, uh, you know, just other subscription based brands. But we haven't seen them impersonate iCloud and Apple products. And so they are, again, trying to create the, the, this fear with the subject title, your iCloud account has been locked. And uh, if you do not respond within 12 hours, your account will be su suspended. So they're trying to create this fear, this urgency to get the user to um, verify their account to steal those credentials. Again, if they steal those credentials and your users have bad cyber posture, which means they're using their passwords a same, the same across the uh, various accounts. They can steal the iCloud login, try your company login, or try some other login, and um, could successfully get access to resources. Now, the last phishing attack, we've seen this pop up multiple times over and over again this week. So. Um, this one is some. This one is a new one where bad actors are targeting individuals who have uh, cryptocurrency wallets, and they are trying to get their private key. They're trying to get access to their key store, and so um, they are using these threat tactics of you know to unlock your wallet or to verify that this is your wallet. We need you to um, go through this verification process. Um, so I believe this one, because it's a new one, um, more people are investing into cryptocurrency. Uh, and so I believe that this one will be reused over again. So that is the cybersecurity news for this week. This week we've seen bad actors continuing to impersonate the DMV, but they've taken it a step further. They are adding urgency. It wouldn't be a phishing attack if there wasn't the um, urgency. 
And so they've added this 72 hour clause that we we are we we have a citation, you've been speeding, and if you don't give us a payment, you are going to uh, go to jail. <laughs> and they want the user to click on this, put in their credit card information, and um, the credit card information will be stolen and used for bigger purchases. <music> Now, for the top three phishing attacks that our mining technology has found, and then our research team will pick out the top most interesting ones. So first, we've seen bad actors are impersonating internet service providers. They're acting as if they're telling these email users that their email is at, at a limit for this space, they're going through maintenance and they're going to make it to where their email can have unlimited space. All the user needs to do is click on this link here to be able to have access to this upgrade. And then the other thing that these bad actors are doing is they are adding speech for urgency. So they're saying, if you don't get this done in 48 hours, you will lose your data as well as you won't get the unlimited um, this space. The next one is Microsoft. So our mining technology searches the web for phishing attacks and we continuously see phishing attacks impersonating Microsoft. They're the number one um, vendor that is impersonated in phishing attacks. Th these from this week are a little bit different so we want your users to be prepared. Bad actors are saying they're no longer using the email domains, the old email domains. And in order to keep your password on this new domain, click on this link. The other one that we've seen is bad actors are saying that they are totally redoing the system. Everything is being replaced. And in order for you to get the new version, you need to log in to update. 